So, I want to ask you a question. How many of you have ever read a graphic novel or a comic book? I actually enjoy illustration and drawings. Um, this is one of my favorites, prop actually. Uh, it's called Watchmen, and you, some of you may have heard of it. Um, it's got different characters. Um, it's set in the 1980s. Uh, it's very interesting, but I'm gonna pass this around and I want you to look at it and see if you can just read, like look at a couple different pages and follow those and see if you can see how it, um, how it tells a story. Don't even look at the words, just look only at the pictures and see if you can see how it tells a story because I'm gonna introduce a new concept to you that might be something that if you're an artist, would be really interesting for you to do. Um, so I'm gonna pass this around. This is by, by far my favorite, Watchmen. Um, it's an amazing graphic novel. I've read it several times, saw the film. I really like the film as well. So I always read the book first. Pass that around. So we're gonna talk about something called storyboarding. Storyboarding is a way of telling a story through pictures in a more complex way. It's used, at least how I was introduced to it, it was used on film set. So oftentimes, um, artists will render what basically is a blueprint for a film. Now, if we go back to the 1930s, we can look at where storyboarding began uh, with Walt Disney films, and specifically animated films, which were in and of themselves just, just drawings, short, small drawings. And instead of just kind of like taking each drawing and going with that, uh, animators wanted a little bit more of a direction. If they were going to make a full-length feature film, they wanted something that was going to be... They, were, they wanted direction. They wanted to know um, where they were headed. So what they started doing is making small pictures for each scene, right? So they didn't necessarily, didn't necessarily have to encompass everything in the scene, but it gave you sort of a general idea. So let's say we have two people, right? They're interacting, maybe they are having a sword fight, right? And so this is a very basic rendering of what's going on there. Um, next scene, we see that somebody has bested the other person with their sword, and now our other person is down on the ground. These are obviously very rudimentary. But the idea is, there's a little arrow here, right? All of a sudden you start stacking up these scenes, these little uh, squares, these little, the little storyboard scenes, and you get an idea of where you're gonna go with the whole film. And this is important when you get to more modern films because modern films are very complex and oftentimes when you read a script, it's very difficult to sort of imagine what's going on. So in Los Angeles, New York, all over the world now, really, uh, storyboarding has really become a thing. Not, not everybody does it, but some people do, and uh, some directors use it. It's really important for, uh, for continuity and direction. And um, Modern day filmmakers like the Coen Brothers use it. I don't know if any of you have seen any Coen Brothers movies. Oh Brother, Where Art Thou, Big Lebowski, Fargo, those kind of things. They storyboard out every single scene in every movie. So I'd like to show you right now a clip. It's about a five minute clip. And it's actually about Pixar and the way that they have storyboard artists. It's really amazing the way that they get from a storyboard piece, one little simple drawing, all the way to an entire film, how they map it out. And then they're able to use that as a stepping stone to get to their larger, to their larger, uh, their larger goal, the final, the final goal. So we're gonna look at that for five minutes. 
Okay, after the clip. So, as you can see, it takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of hard, a very hard work, a lot of talent, um, a, lot of, a lot of things go into it, a lot of moving parts. But what helps them, um, when they're going down to sit down to do cell-by-cell -cell animation, or computer animation, is that they have a storyboard. And say again, uh, my example of the Coen brothers. When they go to shoot, they actually have the storyboards on set. But the Coen brothers, when they're directing, will look at them and say, okay, some of them will have little directions, even inside, they'll have like, oh, this, this person goes here first, then this person comes up, this person second. Um, they'll have little directions, or they'll have lines that sort of indicate motion inside, um, which is really amazing. I think you can see it in the Pixar clip that I showed you that they're, they're, they're just enough to get you on track to where you want to be. Obviously, something like this is, you know, a fight scene is going to be, a five minute fight scene is going to be more than even 10, 15, 20, 30 pictures. But you'll have a pretty good idea of what you want to shoot. So if you're the Coen Brothers and you're on set and you're looking at your storyboard, you're like, okay. You can kind of look at it and gauge and say, I want the actors over here. I want this light over here. This camera's gonna be filming it this way. The storyboard sets that up first, which I think is really amazing. So what I've done today for you is I've brought 15 different uh, story, storyboard pieces. I've cut them up and I want you as, a, as an activity, as a group, to line them up in what you think would be the best way to tell a story. Best way if you were gonna shoot it. If you were gonna take these pictures, line them up, and then shoot it, how would you line up these pictures? I've got them here for you, and I'm gonna pass these around if you guys can take a look, and let's see what you think. And then, uh, yeah, so take a few minutes to do that activity. And then after that, activity. I'm going to come around and take a look at it and then we will uh, have a little bit of a group discussion on what you think uh, about storyboarding and as a medium to express uh, and the guideline to express. So that would be about another three or four or five minutes.